But one thing we haven't talked much about is how we tie all of this together. The thing that lets you create across everything, across your desktop, across your mobile apps, while leveraging the people and the content that matter most to you, something we call the creative profile. Your creative profile connects you to all of your work, your files, your fonts, your colors, your brushes, your shapes, and any other creative content and assets that you care about. And it's going to move with you from app to app so that you can work anywhere and in any app across desktop or mobile or both. It puts you at the center of the creative cloud. So let's start the day by taking a look at your creative profile. I'd like to invite up Jeff Veen to get us started. Jeff? Wow, hello, everybody. You doing all right? All right, good. It is an absolute thrill to be here. So look, over the last year and a half, we have built some amazing new technology into the Creative Cloud. In fact, in that time, we completely redesigned and refactored your Creative Profile, that is, your identity inside the Creative Cloud. I think probably the best place for me to show you that, or the most visible, is on Adobe.com. So now when you come to our website and you log in, you get this dashboard that has everything that you have linked to your creative profile. So just a click from here, and you're over at Behance, where there are millions of creative professionals posting their work. And you can post your work there, too. Another click, and I'm at Typekit, where I have thousands of fonts that are included in my membership that I can sync to my desktop, that I can use on my website, that uh, now even use on mobile devices. Now, Another click, and I'm at Lightroom, and I've got all of my collections there, right? The stuff that I've been working on, Lightroom in the desktop and Lightroom on the iPad, all of that's here too. And then finally, another click, and I'm at Adobe Color. And there, I can browse around and create my own color palettes, and I can use those in all my work too. Now, all of this is totally seamless because all of this is connected to your creative profile. Um, but honestly, I think a lot of the real value is when you take your assets with you, when you have them right at your fingertips while you're doing your work. So over this last year, we spent literally like hundreds of hours talking to creative professionals about how they do their work really like online when they're sitting at their computer, but also offline too in the real world. And it's no surprise, right? We all take our tools super, super seriously. Uh, we spend time organizing and personalizing and, uh, and really sort of working with our tools, but not just those tools, right, but all the bits and pieces that we use in our work, right? Everything I just showed you, the fonts and the colors and icons and vectors and just everything. I think it gets really interesting then when you move all of this into the cloud, right? Now, I think services like G Drive and Dropbox and OneDrive are super, super interesting. We even have our own in the Creative Cloud. But the value in these services is not just from all that seemingly limitless storage, right? Um, in fact, <laughs> all that storage often amplifies a lot of our bad habits. So I can't, I can't tell you how many folders I have like this. Does this look familiar? Logo, final, final, four, no really, I mean it, dot PSD, right? <laughs> yes. So look. I think there's a better way. I think we can stop storing the raw materials that we use in our work today in file systems that were designed decades ago. Instead, we should have all of our assets at our fingertips when we need them, wherever we're doing our work on any device that we have. That was the motivation behind the creative profile. That's what I'd like to show you now. So let's have a look. Would you like to see the new Photoshop? Good, let's do that. 
All right, I've got uh, this desktop machine here, and so I'm going to launch up Photoshop. And the first thing you can see is that I am logged in right, with my creative profile. So everything is connected here. And if you look, I've got this Creative Cloud icon, and I've got a new feature here called the library. And it's got everything I need. Now, this is brand new. We're shipping it today in the version of, the, of Photoshop that you'll be able to download as part of your Creative Cloud membership. So I've got all my colors here, and color themes as well. I've got typographic styles. I've got layer styles that I've extracted right out of uh, layers and a bunch of documents. I've got a bunch of brushes here that I'm uh, using in various applications, and then a bunch of graphics that I'm going to use, right? So let me just open a file that I've been working on with a web designer for a client called HikeFinder. They have sort of a search uh, social thing for finding hikes when you're out in the uh, outdoors. And I, want to, I just want to show you how incredibly simple it is to just select something in one of these, drag it over, and just like that, there it is. I've got this image. Now it's in my Creative Cloud, right? It's connected to my Creative profi Profile. So if I were to switch over to the new Illustrator, which also has libraries uh, uh, in it now, you can see that right down here, oh, look at that. Unable to connect to server. That's great. Uh, <laughs> Are you guys, did you all just literally jump over to start downloading Photoshop right now? Is that, <laughs> is that what's happening? So let me see if the guys backstage can kind of switch things over here. Let's, oh, there we go. I'm on the server. And we should be uh, syncing here in just a moment. Um, so while that's happening, uh, I can show you it's just as easy as this, right? You drag something over back and forth. I mean, the really good thing is whether I'm online or offline, everything is synced locally. So I always have access to everything. Um, so, all right, let me switch back over to Photoshop. And uh, let's see. Actually, guys, can you switch to the other machine so that I can uh, start fresh from there? And there we go. Perfect. And there it'll just load right up. And here we go. I've got my profile, and I've got my welcome screen. Nice. There we are. And from here, I will just open up a, uh, this file here. It's sort of a template. Now, I'm going to build a mobile app for this client. Uh, and I'm going to start by showing you some of the other libraries that I've built. Because I've been working with this client, put all of this stuff in this library, but you know, I do other work as well. So I've got this icon library that I sort of collected while I was uh, surfing around the web. Uh, I got a bunch of colors here. This is a library that I built to talk with the client about how we might do a redesign uh, come spring. Uh, here's something I find really useful. I built this library full of device templates with blank screens so that I could just literally like drag right over and, and just get started. So that's what we're going to do now. I'm just going to put that right there. Looks good. We'll go back over to the hike finder. There we go. And I'll come down here. I got this image, which I think is going to look lovely right there. Very nice. Let me just. Move that. Well, we'll just put that right there. And I'm going to move this. Uh, I'm going to put a search interface right there, center that up. And I will add this icon. So that's looking pretty good. OK. Uh, I, need the, uh, I need the logo. So I'm going to go back over to Illustrator. And I'm going to open that up now here. Great. So I've got the logo here. And there it is. Let me just uh, zoom in on that a bit for you. So here you go. And before I do, like, I could just drag this right into my library, and I would have it all synced up. But before I do, I'm just going to select it. Now, this is an Illustrator file, right? So Illustrator knows everything about it. And it knows all the qualities of that. So if you look right down here at the bottom, right, Illustrator is saying, oh, yeah, I know what's going on here. You have a color on this. And so I can simply click that. And there's my color. It's going to sync up, and now I've got that in the Creative Cloud. I can use that everywhere. I can grab the typographic style, and just like that, there we go. I've got that as well. And then I could grab the graphic as well. Now, before I do that, though, uh, I don't think this blue is going to work on that background uh, that we're doing in the mobile app. So instead, I'm going to switch over to this uh, iPhone that I have here and show you the Creative Profile on a mobile device. So I'm running uh, Adobe Color here. So I'm just going to launch that right up. And here you can see I've got all the themes that I have uh, been collecting. But look at this, right? I am connected to my Creative Profile. So uh, that means that under the themes here, I just tap this. Whoop, let me get it. 
There we go. And now, well, this is great. There we go. I, <laughs> live in front of everybody. I will just launch color and tap this. My goodness. There we go. And under here, I've got my, all of those libraries. So here's all the libraries that I was just showing you on Photoshop and Illustrator. And they're all here, too. So in fact, I'll go into Hike Finder. Boy, things are really slowing down here. I think we got some kind of network stuff. And I will, right here, add a new color palette. Now, this is looking pretty gray. So thankfully, I brought something with me. I borrowed this from my son. He would probably say I stole it from him. but. We'll just grab that. That's looking good. I will name this Maxed. And there we go. And there's my palette, right? And right now, in the background, that's being synced to the Creative Cloud. It's just as simple as that. So all those libraries are going to have this. In fact, let's go have a look right now. I'll go back over here to Illustrator. And let me just scroll back. And let's have a look. Well, it looks like we are. There it goes. It's syncing. Let's see if we're having. We still are having some of these network issues. I'm not quite sure what's going on. I'm sure the back, guys backstage are working that out. So I'll just use the one that I've got here and select all of this. And that yellow looks pretty good. And I'll just drag this right over. And there it goes. And as you can see, it's syncing up right now. So that means if I switch back over to Photoshop, let's see. It should be syncing right now. And that should come in. Again, we're still, there it comes. Uh, and here I've got everything right, right at my fingertips, uh, ready to go. Well, that's taking a little bit of time. Let's see. Well, there it is. Good. So I just, let me just drag that out. I'm going to try that one. Well, we'll just do it like that. We'll go for a little redesign of the logo here on stage. <laughs> and I'm going to show this to the client, see what they think. So just like that, round trip, right, with all of my devices connected together. And again, right, um, regardless of whether you're online or off, everything is synced locally, so I will have access to all of that stuff. So we've been using this a lot internally. And one of the things that we found, right, is that we do our work uh, by ourselves all the time, but we also do a lot of work together. So we built another feature. In fact, if I show you right under here, I've got a menu item here with my library called View on Website. So if I were to select that, I'd come right over to this website at adobe.com, which is also linked to my creative profile. So what I've got here is everything that I just showed you in the palette, but organized with this sort of elegant and beautiful design that acts as a sort of automatic style guide always showing me everything that we're currently using with this client, right? So here's my colors and the typographic styles and all those images. Then under the action menu, look at this. I have a function here called collaborate, so that when I click on that, it will pop up this dialog that shows me all the team, all the members of my team right here. And here they are. Uh, this is everybody I'm working with, right? So that means everything that I have in this library, they have as well. So think about that for a minute, right? So every, th yeah, thank you. Well, good. I don't even need to ask you to think about it. I think you get it. But that means every single change that I make is broadcast out to my team. So they always have the latest version of the logos and the colors and the type styles and everything. I think this is going to bring out the type A and a lot of creative directors, am I right? <laughs> All right, cool. Now, I just want to show you one last thing, and that is up here, I have been running the desktop version of the Creative Cloud app the whole time. So you can see I got a bunch of stuff. My team is here and stuff like that. And that's because my Creative Profile is here as well. And I'm connected to our community, right? So here is all the work that my community is working on right now. That's pretty cool. But we also have a new feature that we have been working on called the market. Now, we have worked with uh, Behance members to license from them over 20,000 individual assets that you can use in your work. And it's all right here if I click on assets, and here's the market, right? And you can see I've got look, vector shapes and icons and patterns and brushes, and I just have so much stuff here. And, uh, and I can use all of it. Now, let me just show you how easy that is. I'll select right here for a search, and I think for Hike Finder, we will search for tent. Let's see. There we go. 
some tent icons. This is looking good. This feels like the style that we've been using. So I'm going to go right here and look at that. When I click download, it shows me all the libraries, right? So everywhere that I've got my library, I can now have this tent. So I'm going to say, put it in the Hike Finder library, and now it's going to sync, right? Back to the Creative Cloud. It knows that it's in my profile. So that means if I go back to Illustrator, and I will create a new document here for you. That looks good. And there it is. It just pop up. I drag it like that. And again, my whole team has it as simple as that. So there you go. And so that is sort of an overview of the Creative Profile, right? It's in your desktop apps. It's in your mobile apps, connected to our community, and now available with 20,000 assets in the market. But our work on the Creative Profile is really just getting started. So you're about to see a bunch of today's demo. And all of those demos, you will see that the Creative Profile is at the core of absolutely everything we're doing now. So look, I've been working with creative teams for Oh my gosh, like 20 years now. And I don't think it's ever been easier to stay connected and to do our work. And frankly, I cannot wait to see what all of you do with all of this stuff that we're launching. So thank you very much. Have a great day. We really want to hear from you. So take part in our Twitter competition by sending in a creative tweet to tell us about your top Creative Cloud features. Our Adobe panel of judges will select their favorite tweet from each Northern European country, Denmark, Sweden, Norway, Finland, and the UK. The winners will receive a 12-month membership to the Creative Cloud. But not only that, the overall tweet from all the regions will win a Microsoft Surface Pro 3. So get posting your tweets using the hashtag Create now. The competition is open from midday on the 10th of November till midnight on the 13th of November. And you can see full details, terms, and conditions at this URL. Good luck.